Hello everyone, my name is Neil Zor and this is Updated Stats, your weekly gaming news show focusing on role-playing games. Here are the news for this week. Divinity Original Sin is now officially in beta. Adding to tons of bug fixing, a lot of new features have been implemented such as new talents, skills, a new character creation screen, more environmental interactions, more NPCs, quests and areas. Now the development team will be more focused on polishing the game than adding a lot of new content. Regarding Dragon Age Inquisition various endings, we are informed by executive producer Mark Darat that they will vary on different levels. Minor changes will be based upon choices made during this game and the previous ones, which should allow a hundred of them. Major changes will be due to larger decisions in this game, rounding about 40 possibilities and a few number of unique endings will also happen. Also, if you are interested in the process of voice acting, there is a new behind-the-scenes video about it featuring Brian Bloom, voicing Varric, and Claudia Black, voicing Morrigan. Speaking of behind-the-scenes, the latest update for Pilots of Eternity is talking at length about the work as an animator for a video game. If it is something that is interesting you, I recommend to take a look at the update. But if you are more interested in the work put behind area implementation and design in video game, you should go have a read at the latest update for Torment Tides of Numenera, where George Zitz, former creative lead for the critically acclaimed Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer, is talking in details about it. The early access for Shadowrun Online is now available on Steam. It is a turn-based MMO with class 3 character creation in the famous magical cyberpunk universe. This early version of the game contains a small prequel to the future campaign. The full game will include a co-op or single-player mission gameplay, PvP, an evolving world and lots of loot. The first free DLC expansion for FTL is out. It includes a new alien race, along with new events, weapons, playable ships, drones and new music. It is available for everyone that has already bought the game or is going to. It is also now available for iPad. That is all for this week, thank you for watching and see you later!